G'day guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. Now today's video is a Raptor Room update for August 2020. As you guys can see already, there's been quite a few changes happened to the room. Let's get into it and see what's happening. We'll start over here with Chris, who is my black-headed python, who's currently fed on medium rats now. Chris is housed in a four-foot custom-built enclosure. So with the enclosure, we've got his backing. We've got a 100-watt moonlight globe. We've just got a normal light there just to brighten up the enclosure so we can make sure he's okay. As you can see, he's a bit curious at the moment. So we've got two highs in here. Over there, it gets about 31, 32 degrees. Over this side, it gets about 28 degrees. Got his water bowl. Got a few rocks in here to help him shed. We've got his fake plant. And the substrate he's currently on is the Aspen Snake bedding. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys probably won't know. But about a month ago, we got a new addition to the family named Orchid, who is a female Citroen carpet python. She's just currently housed in a three foot Raptor 1 enclosure, uh, tall one. That's her. She's coming on medium rats. She's just in a basic setup for the time being because this weekend I'm planning on putting her in with Chappie, who is a male over there, who we'll get to in a minute. So on this side, it gets about 33 degrees Celsius. Over here gets about 28. Got a couple of sticks for her to climb on as uh, she's a carpet python. Nice big water bowl. Paper towel for temporary reasons. And just a lot up there just to light up the enclosure. Housing this tall three foot enclosure, exo terrier, is Chappie, who's my main Australian carpet python, who's currently fed on medium rats. Now, this guy did have mites about a couple weeks ago, but I've found out he's clean now. I can't find any on him, which is good. So hopefully this weekend I can put Orchid in with him as the breeding season is coming up. But I'm not planning on breeding them this year. Hopefully next year I do get eggs. But if I do get eggs this year, that's a big deal. I've kind of got everything ready anyway. So in the enclosure we've got his branch that he's kind of sitting on. We've got his canopy of light up here. Couple of fake plants, he's backing. Three hides. I'm eventually I'm going to take this one now and put a different one in. So that there gets about 30, 30 degrees in there. Got his log hide there, a pipe, a couple of rocks to help him with shed, and his water bowl. Housed in this three foot Raptor 1 enclosure, we have Molly, who's my jungle carpet python, who's just in here. There she is. Now this poor girl's been through everything the last couple of years. She had RI at one stage, she had mites, that's why she was on paper towel, but she's now clear. Just have to get substrate for Chappy and Molly now. So with her enclosure, we've got her log hide that she's in. Got a fake stick there, a rock, a proper hide over there, water bowl, and a stick that goes across uh, the enclosure. Got a backing, normal light up there, and a moonlight up here. Where she is now, it gets about 30 degrees. Over on the other side, it gets about 28, and on the branch there, it's about 33 degrees Celsius. I also forgot to mention that Molly here is on extra large adult mice for her feed. How's in this two foot Euros enclosure we have Crystal, who's my female pygmy beard dragon, who's currently in a hide here, just having a bit of a snooze. So with her enclosure we've got the coconut sort of fibre substrate, which is just a core peat brick substrate. We have a water bowl, food bowl, which is like carrot, apple and bok choy. Uh, we also give her other leafy greens. Sometimes we give her blueberries as well, super worms and crickets. In he over here we've got her rock, her stick, which gets her 30... About 30 degrees Celsius, got an ornament, UV, backing. The head glow is just a uh, 60 watt Philips focus beam globe. We have a backing, like I said, and log hide. That's about it. Housing in this standard three foot exoteric enclosure, we have Bam Bam, who's my male pygmy bearded dragon. With his enclosure, we set it up a bit differently to a couple of other enclosures. Instead of having a 60 watt focus beam globe, we have a 100 watt focus beam up here. Just to produce more heat for him. Gets about 32 degrees Celsius on that brick, which he can hide in. We've got his substrate, got a couple of rocks in here, his fake plant, a dragon head, a nice backing. He's got his hammock, heating UV, water bowl, and his food bowl. That has apple, bok choy, and carrot. We also do give him other leafy greens, blueberries, super worms, and crickets. How's in this three foot reptile enclosure? We've got Rex, who's my male australian bearded dragon so with his enclosure we've got his substrate which is a quite peach brick substrate got a couple of rocks down here which gets at 28 degrees where he's sitting now is on his silicone rock gets about 30 32 degrees around there 
Got a few fake plants in here. We got his backing. We got his food bowl that of course has apple, parsley, and carrot on the other days. So he does get the other leafy greens, blueberries, on occasion uh, crickets and superworms. Got his hide. We've got a couple of sticks in here, water bowl, his UV globe. His heat globe is just another 60 watt focus beam uh, Phillips globe. Housed in this three foot custom built enclosure, I've got Superstar and Graham, who are my two female plant water pythons. So Superstar is just in the hide there. Will it come out, darling? No? Okay. So here we have Graham instead, so you get an idea of what they look like. Now both of them are fed on extra large dot mice. So in the enclosure, we've got a nice big water bowl. A nice big hide that gets about 25 degrees Celsius there. Got three hides over this side, which is underneath their heat, which is their 100 watt moonlight globe. Got a normal light in here, just to brighten up in here now. Took off the backing because I accidentally ripped it apart to get the wiring through. So it gets about 30 degrees over there. Got a fake plant, nice big stick for them. Rock, a bit of wood in here to help them shed. And the substrate that they're on is the Aspen snake bedding. Housed in this three foot US enclosure, we have Emma who is my male blonde spotted python. He's currently fed on extra larger dot mice as well. So he is now, it's about 30 degrees Celsius. That's the custom built hide that I built for him. Over there, I've got a proper hide, which is about 27 degrees over there. Fake plant, a couple of sticks for him to climb on. Backing, the bedding is the aspen snake bedding. A few rocks, his water bowl, and a nice big light up here, the light up his enclosure. So instead of having a heat globe, he's got a heat mat, which keeps him nice and warm. How's in his two foot Reptile 1 enclosure, we have Charles, who is my male albino darn carpet python. There he is. He just freshly shedded the other day, so he's looking nice and gorgeous for the video. So with his setup, we've got the Aspen snake bedding where you uh, see substrate. Where you're seeing now, it's about 27 degrees Celsius. Got a few rocks in here to help him shed. His water bowl, fake plant. Got foam backing, another fake plant there. He's got his branch that he can perch on if he likes. Got another hide over here that I built for him. And in that hide, it's around 33 degrees Celsius. Now, Charles here is currently fed on rain to mice now. Housed in this four foot Euros enclosure, we have Akko, who is my female Eastern War Jurgen. I do apologize about the flickering of the globe, so the camera is just picking it up. So, in the enclosure, we've got a hammock, where we get about 30 degrees Celsius. We've got a stick, we've got a uh, substrate, which is a mixture of that koi peat substrate and sand just to help with drainage. Cuts a bit, couple bits of wood in here for it to sit on. About here gets about 28 degrees. Fake plant, another slab of wood at the back there. Got a food bowl. Now it's got raspberries. She loves the raspberries. Uh, carrot, bok choy, apple, and chicken flavored dog food. Got a diva sign in here because she is a diva. We've got a couple of rocks in here as well. And a water bowl with, along with a nice backing as well. Her heating UV is a 60 watt Phillips heat globe. And just a normal UV globe. Housing these one foot Repti Zoo enclosures, we've got Salt and Pepper, who is my two banded up tail geckos. So in this enclosure, we've got Salt, who is the female. And over in this one, we've got Pepper, who is the male. So these guys did have a couple of eggs in the past, but sadly, none of them really hatched. Or well, a couple of them did, but the babies didn't last long. So both of them have very identical setups. Both have got a hide each, a backing, the substrate just the children play sand. Got a couple of rocks in there for both enclosures. A water dish that can soak in. Now these guys get crickets every couple of days along with a spray of water. Now with these uh, guys, with the heat, there's a heat mat just runs in the middle of the enclosure, which you can see there. So in the middle there, you can see about 30 degrees Celsius, while the back and front of the enclosure is about 28 degrees Celsius. Housing this one foot zoom in enclosure, we have Diablo, who is my brown tree snake. He's coming on fuzzy mice. So briefly set up, we've got a heat mat in that back corner there, it gets about 30 degrees Celsius. Got his hide there, got a custom built hide there for him, nice wood well. He's on paper towel for the time being. Got his couple of sticks in here that he can climb on or perch on. Now I've blacked out the sides of the enclosure to keep it dark for him. This is a nocturnal animal. And I've made a wooden crevice sort of thing for him to kind of feel like he's more secure in the enclosure. The next two animals I'm going to cover is Bluey and Bo, who are my two eastern blue tongue skinks. Now both of them are housed in very ident uh, identical setups, so I'm going to do both of them at once. So with both blue tongues, they're housed in a 3 foot Reptile 1 enclosure. Both of them have a 60 watt uh, focus beam Phillips globe and a UV globe. They've got, both got a backing, a custom built hide for both of them. Now on top of the hides gets about 30 degrees Celsius. Also in the hides also 30 degrees Celsius as they do get warmed up by one another's enclosures in the morning. 
Um, this will like it's about 24 degrees Celsius. Both of them have fake plants, a brick and a rock in there to help with their nails. Both have substrate, uh, which is called a pizza brick substrate. And funnily enough, both of them are shedding their skin at the same time. Now they've got a water bowl in the corner there, and their diet consists of blueberries, carrots, bok choy, apple, uh, chicken flavored dog food. On occasion, though, you do get other leafy greens, uh, strawberries, superworms, and crickets. House in the three foot exoterian enclosure, we have Blaine, who I believe is a female lowland blotch blue tongue. So, where she is now, it gets about 30 degrees Celsius. She's going to cut some people hide here and another one over here. In the hide as well, it gets 30 degrees Celsius. We've got a brick that can help her go on top of the hide. We've got a nice foam backing. Her heat is in the corner there. Her UV globes, water bowl, food globe, and a food bowl. She's on the same diet as Blue and Bo as well. We've got a couple of rocks over here as well. A fake plant. And the substrate is a coy peach brick substrate. And I chucked in a bit of paper towel in her hide just for something for her to curl up in overnight. The last animal of the reptile room update, guys, is Monty, who is my male shingleback skink. He's currently housed in a four foot refugee enclosure. So, in the enclosure, he's got his aspect snake bedding as his substrate. Nice big hide for him, so underneath gets at 25 degrees Celsius. On top, he gets about 33 degrees Celsius. We have a nice backing, got a, few, got a stick and a few rocks in here, along with a brick. So, above him, here, you got a 100 watt Phillips guy which is a broad beam so he spreads out the heat more evenly. You got his water bowl, his UV globe, and he's currently fed on chicken flavoured dog food, his apple, blueberries, bok choy and carrot. On occasion he does get other leafy greens and it's kind of weird for him that he doesn't take insects like all my other lizards do. So that's a bit odd but I don't care. As long as he's eating his greens he's good. So that's today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed the new look for the reference room update. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in another video.